Hello and welcome to Books Central, the podcast for book lovers. I'm your host, Abby, and today we have the best-selling author of crime novels John Adams. John has recently released his latest book Murder in the Painting which has already garnered a lot of attention from readers. John, could you tell us a little about yourself and your journey as an author? Sure, Abby. I have been writing for over a decade now, and my first book was published in 2010. Since then, I have published several books, and I'm grateful to my readers for supporting me throughout my journey. That's wonderful. Let's dive into your latest book Murder in the Painting. What inspired you to write this book? Art has always fascinated me, and I wanted to incorporate it into my writing. Murder in the Painting is about a famous painter who is murdered, and the protagonist, Detective Emma, has to find the killer amidst a web of lies, deceit, and art theft. The book is set in the beautiful and evocative village of Shanklin on the Isle of Wight, and the rich history and culture of the village inspired me. That sounds like an exciting storyline. Could you read a particular scene for our listeners to give them a flavor of your book? John, sure, let me read a scene from Chapter 10 where Detective Emma finally discovers a crucial clue. Detective Emma was staring intently at the painting in front of her. It was one of Derek's latest works, a colorful abstract piece that exuded a strange mix of passion and despair. She had been examining it closely for the past few minutes, her eyes darting back and forth, trying to make sense of the jumbled strokes and swirls. As she leaned in closer, Emma noticed something odd about the painting. A small area near the bottom right corner seemed out of place, almost as if it had been painted over. Her curiosity peaked, and she reached out and lightly touched the area with her fingertips. To her surprise, the paint was still tacky. What the? She muttered under her breath. Emma quickly realized that this wasn't just a simple painting. There was something hidden beneath the surface, something that could potentially be the key to solving the murder she was investigating. Emma took a step back and examined the painting from a distance. Suddenly, her mind conjured up an image of a dark alleyway, shrouded in shadows, where she had seen the killer emerge from. It was an eerie feeling, and Emma shuddered involuntarily. Determined to uncover the truth, Emma grabbed a scalpel and carefully began peeling back the layers of paint. As she chipped away at the surface, she began to notice something taking shape. It was a figure, a person holding a sharp object a knife, perhaps. Finally, after several painstaking minutes, the image was revealed. It was a portrait of the victim, complete with a knife plunged into their chest. Emma's heart raced as she realized the significance of this discovery. She had just found the smoking gun that would nail the killer. As she turned the painting over to examine it more closely, she heard a faint commotion outside. She quickly glanced out the window and saw a group of people approaching the house. Damn it, she muttered, slipping the painting into her jacket pocket. She knew she had to get out of there before the killer or an accomplice arrived. Emma swallowed hard, took a deep breath, and rushed towards the back door. She could hear the group getting closer and closer, but she didn't dare look back. As she reached the door, Emma pulled it open and darted outside, the wind whipping through her hair as she ran towards her car. She knew she was getting closer to solving the case. But with the killer hot on her trail, she had to be careful. She had to be smart. And most importantly, she had to find a way to stay alive. Wow, that was intense. I can't wait to read Murder in the Painting. Now, could you share with us some of your writing tips or advice for aspiring writers? I would say, write every day, even if it's just for a few minutes. Read a lot, and read widely. And most importantly, don't be afraid to edit and revise your work. Writing is rewriting, and the first draft is never perfect. That's great advice. Thank you, John. Before we conclude, could you tell our listeners where they can find your book and connect with you? Murder in the Painting is available on Amazon, and you can find me on my website jonadamsbooks.com or on Twitter at jonadamsauthor. Perfect. Thank you so much, John, for joining us today and sharing your insights on your latest book. And to our listeners, thank you for tuning in. Please share this podcast with your friends and family, and leave us a review to let us know your thoughts. Join me next week for another exciting episode of Books Central, where we discuss the best reads of 2023.